Hey guys, it's Jan, also known as Zen Bluster. Actually, today I'm gonna to be called No Pants Zen Bluster because today I have something pretty exciting to show you guys. It's the Crimson Glory. And in order to enjoy the Crimson Glory, you have to have no pants. Yeah, that's you guys can assume that. Like on most of my videos, that's why I don't show anything other than the kit, is because I'm not wearing any pants. Anyway, so this is actually quite of a bit of a complicated question most of the stuff that's going on a little bit um one of the few things is that i'm borrowing this from a friend just so that i could show you guys and he was nice enough to say okay man let's uh, look it up and uh, find out what we can do because like um it's kind of a mixed bag for this type of kit especially on a kit this old where it doesn't have the the website so you're thinking well, i'm already thinking okay that's probably an original but there's multiple versions of the first few kits that they released uh, that they released for the Crimson Glory and we're not entirely sure whether or not this was printed within like the first couple of years because in the later two or three years they ended up like um, changing the box a little bit so we think this might be original uh, we did some research and um, I'm I'm almost fairly confident to say that yeah I'm pretty sure definitely this is an original kit so this one uh, the 1990, that's the first year that the Crimson Glory was released. You're not going to see anything else on any of the box art, even though it's a reissue that you see. Um, let me look at the box from back in the day. Yep. Try and find that kit for 600 yen. Good luck. There's no way that you're going to find this kit for 600 yen anywhere. All right. So, historically speaking, like I said, the Crimson Glory is the very first front motor car in uh, Tamiya history basically for mini four-wheel drive and uh, this was uh, I think the first release so quite a few things that we're gonna look through the box let me slide that back he has it taped on the bottom side and um, I'm fairly confident this is an original kit but a couple of things um, had jumped out when we were looking at it and uh, he told me okay when we looked at some of the pictures this is supposed to be loose and if you look at it it's definitely like a like an additional pack that somebody bought and then just placed stuff in it so it makes us a little bit wary that it's not an original but i mean um on the original kit what you're gonna see is this is not gonna be in plastic the chassis is not gonna be in plastic and neither are the tires so we're a little bit uh oh, what do you call it um you know um hesitant to say that this is an original but like if you look at the tires it's from 1988 there you go 1988 and that is that's that is the year that these were like basically like released and it, the rubber feels different too it doesn't feel the same as the rubber that was being used for the uh, more recent kits you know like uh, any of the reprints so i'm fairly confident in saying this this is pretty this is legit at least the tires are i'm not sure about the chassis but that's the right color definitely you can see the brownish gray or like you know like a more flat gray but the rest of the kit is a fairly good indicator of the you know an original this was in its own basically definitely that and yeah, the crimson glory was red and then the uh, support parts, the A parts are also gray, just like the same, just like the chassis over here. And then, uh, and then the some of the parts were separated. Back in the day, you were gonna get this. Uh, let me see. I don't know. Yeah, the uh, Mabuchi um, brass colored uh, motor can, right? This. The motor can is a little bit goldish or brass like in terms of color and you get the um metal metal grease uh what do you call it container basically you have to pierce that and then you know that that's what you used to build the kit if you're building it out of box um and then of course the two millimeter shaft it does look authentic because it's quite old in terms of the tarnish and the the pinion yeah that's of course a normal 10 10 tooth pinion or no not the 10 tooth 8 tooth sorry guys 8 tooth there are 10 teeth out there but those are not 
the correct pinions most of the time um and then the tires the not the tires but the wheels were packaged in the same package with the gears and it's separated and the there's a couple of things that were, were kind of funny and i was looking through the kit looks like they they had like a two-tone color packaging for the for the gears some of it is blue some of it is translucent so that gear right here looks like it's a little bit loose but it isn't it's actually still within the same package of that and the tires look look right i mean it back in the day i'm not sure i, don't, I honestly don't remember now but even back in the day they show you the the kit that it comes from it says crimson glory like right there and i don't even know if they do that nowadays on the kits and i think that's an original because one of the biggest indicators is that right like that these tires were uh, these wheels were i think reused again but they i'm sure that they reprinted it with a different name for the other kits and then of course this was also like in an original packaging the manual the manual would be loose it wouldn't be in the plastic cover like this so i think that when he bought this from the um seller um the seller actually bought some plastic uh, what do you call it um protection basically <laughs> plastic protection um to protect the whatever's inside like the you know the manual it's as you can see it's yellowing a little bit and the stickers are too the stickers are not um, they they look a little bit tarnished and a little bit as you can see there's some dirt on that so it's a little bit older than normal and you can see some of the plastic some of the sticker had either been rubbed away or like a little bit of rot maybe but uh, that's just part of aging and it's hard to tell but the I think the biggest indicator that this is an original is the box now let's take a look at the box real quick there's nothing inside and that's what i think uh, makes it the original because the original kits didn't have anything in here if you try and look for some of the images on the internet what you're going to find is there's going to be two different kinds um that are you know more original the first one is going to be one where there's references to the uh, let's and go line like the you know the cyclone magnum or the actually no it would be at the time it would be the magnum saber or something like that from 92 93 or something like that you're, the, you're gonna see some kits that were listed at 94 so that might be the year that they reissued some of the parts <clears throat> so it's a little bit confusing but i think this is the original because there's no other markings on the inside usually the 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 next uh, reissue they had box art in here too so i think i'm fairly certain that this is an original and um lucky for my friend he bought it for quite cheap but as you can see the box is like beat to shit and like i'm not sure how <laughs> the seller got it or maybe it was just um you know put away you know in a bot uh, in like a barn or somewhere and uh don't know what happened they lost track but it's still a pretty good value he said he bought it for like 30 bucks total including shipping so that's still good like if this is an original even in a box like this it should fetch you around 50 to 100 bucks as an original which that's what you're gonna see and um if you're looking at ebay and you see that the box art inside has like print like references to the let's and go line then you're sure that you're going to be sure that that crimson glory is a a reprint and i think this is the original sadly the box is bad but that's kind of okay and water under the bridge so we're going to go ahead and rate this in terms of our grading again to see you know how it fares out of value i'd rate it as a five because um if it, it really depends on how much you're able to spend with it like if you don't buy if you don't spend too much let's say like my friend he was able to buy for 30 bucks that's a really good price for an original but you know it it could be it could go bad for you like you might need to go find something let's like let's say like 50 bucks or like 70 bucks or 100 bucks something like that then the value definitely is going to go down for you but you can if you can find it for cheap yeah definitely go go buy it for collectability um at 10 obviously
this is the very first FM kit it's the very first chassis uh, the very first print of the FM chassis so definitely a 10 anything anytime there's the first of anything definitely and then for upgradability um it's not gonna be a one it's gonna be a two um you'll be surprised how many people out there especially in japan who still build fully modded fully kitted out um, cars out of the fm chassis and they perform pretty well so fm is still one of the one of the stronger ones <laughs> if you want to go deep into the tank in terms of what you can do because the fm still allows you to amount a three-point attachment to the back so that's still doable despite the fact that the bumper is kind of weak it's still a good thing that um, the rest of the chassis is actually kind of uh, pretty well like pretty well designed even at the time so yeah that's i definitely up, uh great the upgradability added too so it's still doable even though it's difficult and the average is uh, 5.6 so if you guys uh, think that there's a little bit of a discrepancy, let me know. I mean, I'm always open to um, discussion on to whether or not like a kid is original or what makes it original. Because it's really hard to find information on this type of stuff. Like to me, it never really um, has a guide on what's, what they did when. Like I know this was reprinted a couple of times, so it's a little confusing. But there you have it, guys. This is, uh, as far as I know, this is the only... Crimson Glory um, unboxing that's an actual unboxing of an unbuilt kit and uh, there you have it guys if you'd like to see more videos like this please like subscribe and share and thanks for watching go race